guys, Travelling Blade here, back again finally for another home vlog. Today, United face Reading. Reading, I think they sit just above the relegation zone, one point above Rotherham. Rotherham, who've got the uh, pigs at home today, hoping for a win there for Rotherham. Rotherham will be hoping for us to beat Reading. What was, Red, like I said, Reading only being one point above Rotherham. United, we're currently, we're still third. I think West Brom are now a bit closer to us. I know, I think they might have a game in hand, I'm not entirely sure. But we're still in touching distance of the top two. I think we're about two points below Norwich and three points below top of the table Leeds. So we're still very much amongst it. And today is a very good opportunity for us to keep the pressure on the top two. What with Reading being where they are in the league, really we should be looking at a win today. Fortunately, we had a game midweek, Middlesbrough, which gave us a night, which was a nice opportunity for us to recover from Villa away. Just reset ourselves with a nice three, steady three points at home. So we've moved on from that now, um, got the ball rolling again. And today is another good opportunity for us to pick up three points, um, which I, I'm probably jinxing it now, but on paper, and if you look at the league table, we really should be looking at a win today. There's a few injury news for United. Old Doc has a tight calf, apparently. I think he'll probably be out, maybe on the bench, but I doubt he'll even be on the bench. Apparently O'Connell looks doubtful again. And Basham is still suspended. So a few defensive knocks there. Probably looks like, I imagine, Craney, I'm hoping to see Craney play, probably maybe Stearman as well. It'd be interesting to see. I know the other night Dowell played left wing back, but I think Stevens should be okay. Unless they put Stevens in the back three and then put Dowell at left wing back. I'm not sure. Because um, Dowell did to say he's like a, a cam, really. Dowell did well at left wing back. So it's gonna be interesting to see defensively how we line up. I'm not sure how strike how how the strike force will line up to be honest as well. Um, I imagine Sharp will start. I'd like to see Medine start, to be honest. Nothing against McGoldrick, his link-up play was good, but I think Medine, I think Medine played really well. I'd like, I'd like to see him start. Um, well, there's also Hogan, so I'm not entirely sure. I imagine Duffy will start. What with the defensive uh, injuries, maybe meaning that Dowell comes into the defence, comes as a wing back. That might that might mean that Duffy therefore is going to start. Obviously, Fleck and Nord are pretty nailed on. Henderson nailed on. Um, Egan is nailed on. Apart from that, it could be a few interesting changes. Like I said, it'd be interesting to see how the defence lines up. It'd be nice to see Stearman start. I'd like to see Craney start. But yeah, it should be an interesting lineup. But should be a comfortable game for United. I shouldn't be saying these things, to be honest. But really, if we, if we want to do anything this season, games like this at home, we have to win them. We have to win them. And I mean, if we can beat Middlesbrough, who are quite a decent side on paper at home, and quite a hard team, a hard and gritty team to beat, we should be able to beat Reading today. No offence with to Reading, but they're just one place above the relegation zone and we're one place below the automatic. So put that context in any league and it should be a win. But it's United, so who who knows? But yeah, should be decent. All right, so the lineups are out. Quite a few surprises. Marvin Johnson, of all people, starts. <laughs> a fan's favourite. I think he was starting left wing back. Stevens is on, but I think he'll drop to left centre back. Um, I think we've got Egan at centre centre back um craney's playing nice to see i think he's right centre back in place of bash um, freeman's playing right wing back i believe uh, usual midfield three of fleck norwood and duffy and then up front sharp's been dropped to the bench and you've got medine and hogan so it's a bit of a changed lineup henderson in it as always but you know we've got our, we've got our strongest midfield three out uh people like sharp and dowell on the bench medine up front which should be good with hogan could could has the potential to be a great partnership like Medine and Hogan. But Medine's, you know, physicality and Hogan I think he's got a decent bit of pace to him. So it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be nice to see Hogan play for United at last. But you know, it's a bit of a change. I'm hoping Marvin Johnson doesn't get booed too much, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see Ukraine get a start again. I was hoping Stearman would start, but the thing is Stearman and Egan are sort of the same position, so you, you're only really going to get one. I know the night they put both on, but it's unlikely that, that Stearman and Egan will start together on the same side, unless we were that strapped But for defenders. Hopefully we'll win. I've seen a few blades on Twitter saying if we lose, blame Wilder. That's annoying before we've even kicked a ball, but should be decent. Should we? Should, it, there's enough out there to win Reading, to beat Reading, surely. <laughs> Score prediction for the day, lads. Three-one blades. Three-one blades. What do you think, lads? 
Two one bleed. Two, two one Billy Sharp first scorer. Up the travel. He's please. not starting. Did he? No. Yeah, it's Medine and Hogan up front. Is it? That's yeah, it's Medine out. and Hogan starting. That's wank Up the bleeds. Up the bleeds. Shout out to the Orient bleeds. Booted on the Well, that answers that, then they've made Norwood captain. It's nice to be back at the lane. You fill up my senses like gallon of magnets, like packets of Fucking hell, found the shooting boots again. Way! Slid in. Typical Freeman goal. Ball in, slid in. Got the studs on it. 1 0. A minute in. Come on! Go on. Been a great start by United. We could be about 2 0 up by now. Fucking come on! Come on! 2 0 United! 16 minutes in! Keepers fucked that one up! Can't get it on Phil because it was that quick! We've got the team! Down in the team! I just don't think it was time! It's the big one! He called Billy Fox! Now he's got the machine! I just don't think you understand. Hugh Smith's what? He can't barely fuck. Now he's our goal machine. Yeah, the keeper messed up. Pass it to United. But I think it was Hogan who passed it to. Played it forward. Medine was offside at the time. Not sure who ran for it. Might have been Fleck. Um, bounce out to Medine. He had the whole net to aim for. 2-0. Couldn't get it on the film, I'm afraid. Well, that quick, I was just watching him. But United are properly up for this day. So it's like a, a change side. We're playing fantastic. Reading's back line looks shaky to be fair, but we're playing great. We're probably up for it. Oh, we are well played. 2-0, Medine's going at the lane for the blades. Who would have thought it? Let's hope we can hold on to this and build on it. Reese here. What you, what's your thoughts at half time, mate? Um, it's okay. Um, it could be better. It could be better. Bloody hell. <coughs> what do you reckon the full score will be? 4 0 United. 4 0. Who do you reckon will get the fourth goal? Medine. Medine. He's doing alright, isn't he, Medine? Today's okay. so next yeah, Wednesday. He's doing alright. Uh, I think the full time score is going to be 5 0. Okay. 5 0. Yeah. Billy's gonna score and maybe the Dean again. I know. I 
I reckon he'll come on, he'll do all right. It's not bad. What do you think, Kai? I think it's going to be 7-0. 7 nil, bloody hell. What do you think? We've got some optimistic blades here. What's your thoughts at half time? Well, we played good and we've got easy goals in. What do you reckon the full time score will be? About 5 0. 5 0 United, that's very yeah. optimistic. Who do you reckon will score next for United? Probably Regina Gate. Yeah. And then Sharp. Sharp, oh. Alright, so half time United 3, Reading 0. Very comfortable for United. To be fair to Reading, I'll, I'll talk about Reading first. They've had a few times where they've come down the wing and sent some dangerous balls in. But we've dealt with everything. Uh, back line of Stevens, Egan and uh, Crane has been solid so far. I mean, like I say, Reading have got down the flanks and sent some balls in, but we've dealt with everything so far. Uh, we could have scored about another two. Fleck came close. There was another header, I don't know who it was from, came close. But um, it was nice to see Freeman score with inside a minute. Typical Freeman goal. Ball in by Duffy, I think it was. Um, Freeman slides in with the studs. Um, so that was inside a minute. So great stop. Uh, and then Medine's fired home to the second goal. Bit of a mistake by the keeper. Uh, um, but yeah, it's been some lovely. It's been quite comfortable and relaxed by United. We've, we've, we've really been able to flex our muscles going forward. Second goal. I'm not sure who had a shot, but I think it was Hogan. Come on, Blaze! Come, Come on, on Blaze! <laughs> And then Medine smashed it home again. Both Medine's finishes have been smashed home. I'm, I'm stood here chanting for Medine on the court at Bramall Lane. I can't believe it. Like I said, what a time to be alive. But uh, yeah, it's been nice, eh? A bit of a mixed squad. You know, the defence has been... To say that we've mixed up the defence, that's been a pretty much nailed on defence all season. The chemistry, you know, the defence has been really good. And going forward, it's been great. It's been, a, it's been a good half by United. I'm just hoping we don't. I'm just hoping that we don't mess it up like the last time we were three 0 up, and we, we can build on it in front of the cop and get another one or two. Five minutes and six seconds off. Okay. Come on! I mean, come on. Oh, fucking hell! Come on! We are properly in our stride now. It's absolutely scintillating football for me now. Oh. I'd have loved. I'd have loved for Johnson to score. That would have been incredible. Look at your left! Look at your left! Oh! Ooh. It may not be a fan's favourite, but Marvin Johnson has been great down this left flank in the second half. Fantastic. Could have got a couple of goals even. Hogan just came so close to scoring. Tried to think it over the keeper. A great save by the keeper. Their keeper had the best game, but great save. Could have easily been five. It's been a fantastic performance by United. Oh. Right, so full time United 4, Reading 0. A comprehensive and convincing victory for United. Um, I did think we should, we would win today, but I didn't realise it'd be 4 0. A few times where they got down our wing and um, squared a ball in, but we dealt with it. 
Um, they had a free kick towards the end that came close. Um, and they did force a good save out of Dean Henderson. But apart from that, they did nothing really. They looked quite nervous at the back. Um, especially like the second goal for us. Um, keeper rushed the pass, I think. Um, went to Reading player, but John Fleck rushed them into a poor mistake. Then rushed another defender into a, poor, into a mistake. Who passed it to Medine. Medine fired home. I think everyone for United, though, pretty much down everyone played really well today. Um, I suppose Henderson didn't have much to do, but pulled out a good save when he needed to. Backline, Egan was solid as ever. Um, I thought Craney played well again. I thought Stevens was great. Freeman, didn't notice too much of him apart from the goal, but scoring a goal within 40 seconds when he hadn't even been playing. He's hardly played. The last time I saw him play was when we lost to Barnet and he looked poor. 40 seconds in, he scored a goal. Uh, Marvin Johnson. Now, Marvin Johnson is one of the most hated United players at the minute. I thought he played well today. If you look, I mean, I think I think it was Marvin Johnson's cross into the box towards Hogan that indirectly led to, to our third goal. He ran down the left flank, sent the ball in. It, um, sent the ball in towards Hogan. It ended coming out to Medin, who scored the third. Medin was great today. I'll come on to in a bit. There's a few times in the second half where he came down that left flank and... All right, he might he might have not scored, but he fizzed the ball into the keeper. The one I think one of them bounced off the keeper, and we, we almost you know got something on that. So I thought he played really well in terms of coming forward. I thought he played I thought he played well today, and I think he get I think he's um he gets more stick than he deserves. He gets right? more stick than he's worth. I'm not saying he's amazing or he's our best player, but I just think he gets more stick than he's due. And I thought he had quite a good game today. Midfield, those front three, I thought they were great. They Fleck was fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Uh, he was in top gear today. Uh, actually got a goal. It was deflected. It was reminiscent of Brayford's in the FA Cup semi-final against Charlton. Took the deflection but got him. Nasty flex score, one of my favourite blades. Um, didn't score that many. Norwood, once again, he was great. Duffy um, got the assist for the first. And then the front two, Medine and Hogan. Obviously, Medine was great. Got man of the match. Won a lot of stuff in the air. Got his two goals. You know, what a time to be alive when you see Guy Medine getting man at match at Bramall Lane for the Blades and getting a stand innovation from all sides of the ground by Blades fans. Unbelievable. Hogan could have scored. Great save by the Reading keeper, by the way. That was the best thing he did all day. But even though he didn't score, he was very lively and I think his movement created chances for us. His movement and pace and just harrying defenders and causing issues here and there. Created goals for us. Key example being our third goal. For different reasons, Medine's obviously for his physicality and height. Hogan with his, a bit more pace to him. So they were both causing problems and it both create, it created goals. So even though he didn't score, it's sort of like the, the past few games Medine's had. Even though, I mean, today's the first time he scored. So like in the past few games, such as like uh, Norwich away, Villa away, other games like that. He hasn't scored, but he's caused issues and he's been a, you know... A good component. I think Hogan was like, for different reasons, um, Hogan was like that today. But yeah, I think it was an overall a really good performance. Quite easy, to be honest, for United. I think as it stands, we second, but Leeds didn't play. I thought their back line looked nervy, especially after our second goal, in which we like hurried them into mistakes. Their back line looked quite nervy. They had a few like rushed clearances here and there. The keeper looked a bit nervy trying when distributing the ball. Um, and we sort of capitalised on that. It, it looked really comfortable, United, and we really flexed our muscles. So we move on. Yeah, another great win. I think that's six home wins in a row now um, since we lost to West Brom in like the middle of December. It's a great home form. Bramall Lane truly a fortress at the minute. The atmosphere, I thought, started a bit flat but got really good uh, uh, today. So yeah, we move on to West Brom away. I will be there. Hard game. Would, well, I said this before, Villa, I'd be happy with a point, but if we're 3-0 up with eight minutes to go and we end up with a point, I won't be happy with that. But at the minute, if it end, we go there, get a draw, I'd take that. I, I won't be too upset unless we do a flipping Villa and throw away a three-goal lead or even a two-goal lead. Should be a cracking away day. Sold it out. It's the 2,700 Blades that's going, I think. Should be good. Anyway, guys, I've been the Travelling Blade and I'll see you for West Brom away.